Hey guys, I am here in my temporary bedroom. As you know, my van is broken down and I am back at home base. Cool thing about being home is I get mail. Yay! So today I have some Soaky products that I got in the mail and I got a cold today as well. I got it last night and so if I'm sniffling a lot, that's why. And I'll try and hold it all together. Whew. I've got this first little one here. So this is a Soaky LED Camping Lantern Green. I'm excited to see what it is, what it looks like. It's super small, like the size of my hand in the box. So here it is. It has a low brightness and a high brightness and SOS flashing, solar powered. It does have a little solar panel on the top like a Lucy light, but this one is a Soki. So the cool thing about this little lantern is that it can charge your smartphone or digital products in an emergency. The solar panel on top can act as a little um, power station for your phone. So I'm, I'm wondering what kind of adapters it has in it because it seems very small. So we're gonna look inside. And these are the two things I have in here. There is the solar panel on top. It's got a little handle. Oh, it comes working. That's awesome. So three different things. Let's read the instructions. It's got a little user manual. The model is SB6038. Battery is 800 milliamps. Solar charge input voltage is less than or equal to 5.5 volts. So I'll just give you a little quick look at this. You can pause the screen to read it if you want to know more about it. I'm not sure if all these things are on the Amazon page when you go to purchase it. It says charging by solar power. Put solar panel upwards under the sunlight for charging. Charge by adapter. Connect the 5 volt adapter with USB port. Charge indicator will red when indicator turns green it means the battery is fully charged charge for digital devices connect the adapter to the usb interface and the other micro usb 2 pad then it has a little diagram there i'm just trying to figure out how to oh expand it <laughs> so let's turn this on all right so the light does come out of the bottom as well as through the sides. I'd say this is very bright. I'm gonna turn off this light. It's a very good amount of brightness. I like it. I like it a lot and that it's very compact and that it charges by the sun. So the cool thing about this is the way it charges through a solar panel because I have battery operated uh, like a Coleman lantern and that thing uh, sucks batteries really intensely. I'm gonna turn this light back on. So the Coleman lantern is something I kinda wanna move away from. So I've been trying other battery operated lanterns and I'm super excited to start using this. I can set it up here in the window. So how you can charge another thing off of this little solar panel is behind this little tab here is the micro usb and the regular usb so let's see if it works okay so i've got all my items right here i'm going to plug the usb portion i'm going to take the other part and plug it into my phone it is not in the sun right now so and it does start charging my phone right away whether or not this is in the sun it will start charging i'm covering it up right now and it is still charging my phone. So that's a really cool feature that this little lantern can charge your devices. Um, I'm sure as long as they're not too strong. I'm gonna try it in my iPad now. So my iPad takes the same charging cord. I have it plugged in still. So I'm gonna plug it into my iPad and it is charging my iPad. So with the, the little lamp, they do include a thank you card with, oh, and it's uh, a thank you warranty car, card, and there's some instructions in here if you wanted to contact the company. All right, my second package is a lot bigger and a lot heavier, but not too heavy. And here we have the Soki portable solar generator. 
and that's what it will kind of look like. Some images on the outside and some specifications. You can totally pause it right now if you want to read those, but I will just jump into looking on the inside. It has some very nice velvet foam on top. And it's a little nugget of a generator. So this is my hand. You can kind of see it's about the size of my hand. Uh, very small, portable. It's got the two handles that come together on top. Let's see if it has power right now. It does, cool. So the model that I have has a normal US plug and then it's got the three prong and the two prong. It has a flashlight. Whoa, look at that flashlight. Very bright. Also has the SOS flashing. We have four USBs on one side and four DC on the other side. 12 volt DC with a 15 amp max. Above the flashlight, it does have a DC input. When you're looking for a power generator, um, I would, a portable generator, I would always look for a lithium ion battery as the battery they use. I have used a company that had an AGM battery in it and it's not as good. It's definitely not as good if you want to, and the, the prices are now comparable for lithium ion. Lithium used to be way more expensive than AGM, but when it comes to these smaller units, they're definitely affordable now. So always go for lithium. It is just, it's the battery that is in your cell phones. They can be drained down to nothing and still charge back up. And it'll take like a thousand charges before they um, start deteriorating. So I have the Soki Portable Generator Model S270. It has a 150 watt hour max lithium ion battery. Charging time is seven to eight hours. It is a modified sine wave output, 100 watts, 150 watt max. I'll do a little closer. Pause it if you'd like to read all those things. I do know that one of the USBs is a flash charger. So this one goes a lot faster. It is uh, allows 18 watts, whereas these other three are a little bit slower charging. So we're gonna plug this into my iPhone and iPad and see how they work. I will also try plugging in my laptop and I have a pretty big laptop and I'm gonna see how it does. I have no idea how much this is charged, but I'm guessing it's fully charged because when I turned it on, all of this turned blue. I'm gonna look through the instructions right now just so that I don't ruin anything. What comes with the little power bank? This has a warranty card on it. It says warranty card, but in fact, the inside just um, gives you the information if you have any questions who to contact. So I don't know what the warranty is, if there is one. There is cigarette lighter with the, the little DC plug on the end there. You have the opposite end of the cigarette lighter. All right, so you've got the two cigarette lighters and then you have the 110 charger. So this plugs into the wall, this plugs into your device and charges it. Whereas this one plugs into your car and then plugs into the Soki power bank and you can charge it in these two ways. Based off of reading the user manual, all of these guys lighting up means it's fully charged. So that means I'm going to try and charge some of my devices off of them. So let's go plug them in. I'll plug it into the rapid charger over here. I plugged it into the one that has blue in it, the rapid charger. Plug this side into my phone. It is not charging. All right. Maybe, let's see, all right, there we go. So this light turned off again. So this needs to be on in order for it to be charging. And I already noticed the uh, lights getting dimmer on the top. So we're gonna do the same process with the iPad and it is charging up in that corner. 
you can see the green bar. Now I have the plug-in for my laptop and I'll show you. So the, there's a little light that will turn on next to the power cord. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in to the three prong, turn on this button. Oh, gotta turn it on here. Turn on this button. It is charging my laptop. Um, red means it's charging, white means it's fully charged. So it is charging my laptop. Awesome. Now what I would like to do is plug it into the wall and see how it charges. Yeah, we've got the DC in right here. So I'll plug that in. I'll plug in over here. And you can see that it is charging. And those last, the ends are flashing and that's how I know that when those are solid is when it's fully charged. So awesome. It's great that they sent it to me charged. All right guys, here are the Silky products that I received today and they are super awesome. I, I really enjoy the Lantern and I like that I can charge things off of it. That is so cool that it comes kind of a two in one and right now, I saw that these were are usually around $16 right now on Amazon. So if you want to go check out one of these, the link will be down below in the description, as well as for this guy. And in the past, I've talked about the Jackery, and I actually have it right now. I want to do a little brief comparison at the end of size-wise. The Jackery is a stronger unit, has a bigger lithium battery than the Soki, but Soki does have larger sizes. Jackery does have smaller sizes and larger sizes. So this is kind of the medium in the Jackery, and this is the smallest in the Soki models. So if you're interested in going with either of these companies, I would suggest either one. Lithium ion lasts way longer than other batteries and you don't have to babysit them as much. Also, they have on-off buttons for every um, section, like you have to have the unit turned on so it's not going to suck its own juice away from itself as long as you power off the units and the different um, buttons when they're not in use. So there's nothing plugged in, so this should be off type of thing. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this whole review. Um, I, my nose is still bugging me a little bit, but I'm glad I got through it and I'm hoping to feel better soon. And also a little update on Sherry is that uh, my dad is on the putting her back together process. We fixed one, we fixed a couple of the problems that I was having and we're hoping that once he puts it back together, he uh, will be able to run the engine and then see if uh, larger issues are at hand. And then based off of that is what I will move forward with. Um, and I'll obviously let you guys know when those next things happen. Thank you so much for staying up to date with me and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I still have a few uh, vlogs that I made before the van broke down and I'm going to bring them to you. I know that you guys have been really excited about my national park excursions and I still have some really good ones to show you. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to stay curious and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!